Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video today. We'll be talking about ear ringing. What are the spiritual signs behind ringing in our ears? So yesterday I've shared with you a video about how can we recognize that the spirit guides are contacting us. And I've received many messages if I could talk about the ear ringing. Like many people which are going through that awakening process are experiencing the ear ringing, especially at the beginning of our journey. We start experiencing more of it. So we'll be talking about the spiritual science behind the ear ringing. And I want to remind you if any kind of ear ringing is connected with pain or discomfort, it's because of the dysfunction, a certain dysfunction in your ears. And in that case, it's better to find somebody who can give you a professional opinion what is happening in your body. Of course, we can heal any kind of circumstance within our bodies with energy healing. But we need to become aware firstly what is happening, what is going on and, you know, to find um, some other professional opinions and then we decide what to do. So we are all about spiritual awakening here. We are all about that awareness of the spiritual part of life. So usually when we start shifting our energy into a greater alignment, we will start hearing ear ringing. And it's important to become aware, is it the left ear or, or the right ear? And it's actually not about the ears. The thing is that the sound is happening in the brain. Ears are just um, like receivers. We are experiencing and sensing the sound in the brain. And if we look on brain like the left, hemisphere of the brain is the logical part. It's the, the part of the brain which is controlling and organizing the information. The right hemisphere of the brain is the creative one, the one which is downloading new information which are coming from higher dimensions, from um, other uh, points of consciousness or whatever it is. It is important to know because when we start shifting our energy, we will experience a changes in our electromagnetic field. And often when we start changing our energy, we will start hearing that ringing in our ears. And for example, if you are hearing the ringing in your right ear, it means that it is coming from external um, sources of, of consciousness. Let's say that way. It can be a message from your spirit guides. It can be a message from higher consciousness. Or if we simplify everything, we could say it's a message from the universe for you. And if we become aware of if it is a high pitch, it means that it is helping you to evolve. It is helping you to, to move on. Let's say you are going through a certain challenge in your life and you are hearing on your right ear a really high pitch. You are supported. Keep up with whatever you are doing at that moment. Just keep up. Overcome it until you become a new self. Just keep up. If you are hearing a low pitch, it's more like a warning sign for you to slow down or to pause your life and reconnect, realign your energy. So, you know, we are, we are training our awareness. It's like training our inner senses to become more aware of the frequency of what we are sensing what we are sensing with our closed eyes. You know, with our physical five senses, we plug ourselves into a physical reality. But if we unplug ourselves from the physical reality by closing down our eyes, by um, not tasting anything, not touching anything, and not hearing anything from our outside environment, we will connect with our, or we will activate our internal senses, the intuitive senses, the third eye or the first eye, better said. 
and we can align with those higher frequencies and if we are at the beginning of learning about that, those internal senses we may experience it as an unpleasant sensation through the process we become more used to it and it becomes something normal so if you're sensing lower pitch of that kind of a ringing it's your warning sign to slow down maybe you're doing something which is not good for you maybe you're doing something which is actually blocking your evolution and it's time to get back to yourself to raise your energy express some gratitude and become more aware of what is actually important to you and ask yourself if what you're doing right now is it supporting who you want to become is it supportive to you this is all connected to an ear ringing in our right ear so what it means if we are hearing the ringing in our left ear let's talk about it so as i mentioned before the left hemisphere of the brain is all about logic calculation or organizing right people which are working more from the left hemisphere of the brain they are organized they are analytical um, critical it's important to develop both parts of the brain so we can create a great coherence and we can take care of our um, dream state right we can take care of downloading information through imagination but at the same time we learn to organize it we learn to analyze it we learn to think critically about what is happening on the world so we can see how can we improve things how can we change it where's the truth and where are the lies so if you're hearing a ringing in your left ear it's a sign from your higher self it means that you are shifting your energy and your higher self is communicating to you and this is truly amazing if you're hearing a ringing in your left ear and you're hearing that high pitch it's a sign from your higher self that you're growing that you're evolving that you're doing everything great just keep up and if you're hearing a low pitch it's a sign that you're falling down that you're getting back into the old patterns so become aware of it if you're hearing a low pitch let's say you're maybe you're falling into the slower emotional states maybe you're feeling bad about yourself maybe you're afraid of something or whatever it is for a long time it doesn't mean that you're afraid of something for uh, 10 minutes and you think that everything will fall apart let's say you're staying for a long time in the slower emotional states and you will start hearing a lower pitch in your left ear it's a sign from your higher self that you're falling back into your old pattern so if it is happening to you just realign yourself how to realign yourself when you're in that lower states so we fall into our lower states because we are drained our energy body is drained what is draining our energy body firstly our mind as on the there comes a saying controlled mind is your greatest friend uncontrolled mind is your worst enemy so it means that if we don't have controlled mind over what we are perceiving we will be distracted by every possible thing and that's what is draining our energy we'll read some news we'll hear something on tv or on the radio we'll talk with somebody we'll go on social media we will go to work uh, we will go into a shopping center we'll do all the things and because our mind is not controlled we attach ourselves to everything we are reading about everything we are hearing about every person who did something wrong or whatever 
to everything we see, we attach a part of ourselves to it. Because our attention, our focus is not in our control. If it's not in our control, it's like a, a little cat who, which is constantly running and jumping around. That's our mind. Controlled mind means that you are always aware of where you're placing your focus and how it is affecting you. So if you feel and sense that lower pitch in your left ear, it may be a sign from your higher self that you're falling into your old patterns and it's time to take care of your mind. It's time to take care of where you're placing your attention and how many things are distracting you. So how to stop that? Meditate. Put some beautiful music in your ears and just pay attention to your breathing. Breathing will always help you to cut the distraction. Do it for as long as much do it for as much as you need to feel aligned again. Let's say put a timer on for 10 minutes on your phone and just pay attention to breathing. You will see how fast you will lose um, yourself in that. You will see how fast you will uh, lose the awareness of breathing. So as soon as you lose, as soon as you distract yourself, get back to breathing. Pay more attention to breathing again. And by consistent practice of it every single day, your energy will rise once again and you will see that you feel better. You feel more focused, you feel more present and you become more mindful about the things you're working on. If you're hearing like a buzzing pitch, a buzzing sound, it means that a certain channel is opening. Let's say there's uh, like a, a bunch of information coming to you and you're about to receive something truly important. This one is amazing because often we start, when we are going through that awakening process, we start downloading. Everybody is different and for some people it can happen that you will start receiving truly incredible information about your your soul mission or about your service like how to share your life with others for for others it will happen how to help others or how to help yourself to improve a certain situation whatever it is if you're hearing that buzzing sound it may be a sign that a certain channel is opening and you're about to receive something amazing. It can also be connected with manifestation, like you are working on a certain manifestation and you're truly dedicated to it. You're visualizing it, you're journaling it, you're expressing gratitude for it, you're returning to that vision of yourself already having it. And suddenly you start experiencing buzzing and it's a reminder that energies are aligning and you're about to receive it. It's all on that invisible side, but soon it will become visible. If you are hearing just a sudden loud pitch, just a sudden one, it appears and it disappears. It's a warning sign from your higher self that you need to protect yourself. You Like maybe you are planning to go to a certain place and you feel that there's something wrong, you don't want to go there. And suddenly you experience a sudden loud pitch. This is your confirmation that your feelings are right and follow your feelings. So my friends, this is it about like a short message about ear ringing. So take from it only what is resonating with you because the point is that only you, for yourself, figure out at your own journey what is truly working for you. What, are, what kind of signs are your signs and what are the messages in the signs that you are seeing? Because every one of us 
is experiencing life in our own unique way, especially when we start uh, stepping out of the programs. We start seeing life in our own unique way. So it doesn't mean that a certain sign that, that I say to you, this is a sign, it can be just a random event for you, depends of your um, expansion of awareness, depends of how much aware you are. But those information are great to, to be critical about it, to question them. Because as soon as we start questioning something, we also start receiving answers. And that's where our awakening journey begins. We start questioning things and we receive answers. And new answers will bring new questions and new questions will bring new answers. That's how we are walking the path of awakening. And with every answer, we will change a part of ourselves. And with greater... Um, curiosity, a greater level of curiosity, we will start learning more about everything. Because that's what we need. We need to learn more about everything, especially the things we are more passionate about. That's what is connecting us with our soul mission. So I hope this video was helpful to you and let me know in the comments below what are your experiences with it. So this is it for today, my friends. I'm, I'm sending you all love, blessings, and lots of power. I hope you've enjoyed today's painting. And if you would love to learn to paint with me, go and check out my other YouTube channel. Link is in the description. Our time is the name of it. And thanks to everyone for supporting my art in my Etsy shop. I draw my passion. You're all truly appreciated. Till next time, one love.